all right what up welcome back to the channel it's your girl g and you already know what it is so let's just get into it yeah if you clicked on this video you already know what it is it's the word of the week and if you don't know what it is basically the word of the week is some intuitive messages and thoughts that i had or things that i've gone through over the week that i feel moved to talk about i usually put it out on sunday but my video from yesterday was messed up I've been trying um, a new microphone system, okay, and it's a little iffy, so hit me up in the comments if you have um, a good microphone suggestion or audio suggestions, let me know. All right, let's get into the video. So basically, the word of the week, we're going to be talking about how we're in the age of knowledge, how everything is being put in your face. The truth is being shown. You can find the truth, but since the truth is being seen so prevalently people can use the truth to sway your opinion okay to sway you to think in a certain type of way and i didn't understand this until i was in my head back and forth um being a virgo okay this video is for everybody but being a virgo uh i'm always in my head i'm always back and forth some new information can sway my thought pattern because I know that I am okay and never can know everything or uh, be perfect. So I'm always open to new opinions. I'm always open to new knowledge um, and I like searching for knowledge. But in this day and age, I've noticed that people could tell you the truth. Okay. But tell you the truth in a way where it sways your opin opinion. So this happened to me um, because everybody knows like I'm a light worker. <laughs> not by choice okay definitely not by choice i'm a light worker because if you, if you if you're a light worker you know what i mean like once you wake up and you realize what light work is and you wake up to spirituality like it's something that you don't want like you don't want to be awake you don't want to have to see these things you don't want to have to do what you have to do you don't want to have to follow rules and behave a certain way it's really actually a hindrance um i had way more fun ignorant and blind and unknowledgeable of spirituality this is not something i chose to do it's not something i want to do it's something i have to do because once you see you can't unsee it's like once your eyes are open okay you cannot like close them again and go back to the way things were no you're like you have to live it because it's reality now all right nobody tells you the bad side about spirituality nobody talks about how you can't uh, go back to the way that you used to live you can't indulge how you used to it really changes your life permanently but anyways with this energy being a light worker being who i am um i have a battle in my mind which wants me to walk away from light working wants me to you know give up on my spiritual path wants me to turn away from my beliefs and it's basically because i do believe like if i didn't believe they wouldn't be trying to sway me you feel me if i if i didn't believe nobody would care about my opinion nobody would try to change my mind on things and that's what it really comes down to you gotta like look at the reason um something is trying to get you to do something but anyways i have this internal battle that's trying to get me to stop doing light work it wants me to be on the side of chaos and destruction and this is how it was presented to me, okay? Over the series of a week or so, I was presented with the energy of um, y'all, okay? And I don't even know how you would go about doing something like that, but you know how like there's light workers and then there's dark workers? So they were trying to, basically they were trying to give me knowledge that is the truth to open my eyes to the truth okay and i had to dive deep into this because i'm the type of person when you present me knowledge i want to know doesn't mean i believe it um but i want to know what you're presenting me and then myself is going to tell me what's good or what's not because my eyes have been open right and since my eyes have been open ever since my eyes have been open there's something that has been trying to sway me to go to the opposite side of what i do which is dark work and what they were trying to explain to me which still didn't make sense to me was that dark working is creating destruction um defying 
creating chaos, going against, being in karmic energy towards everyone and everything to create destruction. Their ultimate goal is for chaos. It's for the world to end. It's for earth to be destroyed. They believe that earth is a prison that is trying to make them uh, conform, be under their control and be obedient. And they don't want to be obedient to anything. They think the world is prison and what God is doing is actually abuse. And I was like, okay, I can see how you can see it that way. But you're telling me obedience and um, being a light worker is living in prison when I have free will this whole time. Like, even though I'm a light worker, I have free will. I just choose not to indulge in these things because I know the repercussions. I know how that stains and dampens my spirit. It's not that I'm not free to do these things. It's not that I have can. It's not that I have like I'm in a prison. I can't do these things. It's that I choose not to. I choose not to to choose chaos because I love people. And when they were trying to sway me, when they were trying to show me their side, right? I was like, it still really doesn't make sense because what do you do all day? Just nothing like you create negativity for what like what do you get out of that and what i realize is the the only people who are into dark work are people who have no hope and are miserable you feel me because when you have no hope and when you're miserable it can lead you to do things like ruin somebody's day or hinder somebody but me as a single mother living out in this world as a light worker i see hindrance as like something that's like disrespectful like why would you disrespect someone who is already living in this world trying to survive like you why would you add more to their plate like it just doesn't make sense to me that i would their work is destroying other people or destroying the planet when that's not what happens all they do is put out negativity and then it's like equalized. And that's what I was trying to explain. Or that's what I was trying to like rationalize. Like you're saying light working, light working is prison, captivity, um, forced lessons, something that we have to return to this prison, right? You say all that, but we're free to do anything. I'm not forced to do anything. I choose to, and you're not forced to do anything your choose to and the things that you choose to do doesn't do anything but hurt the people around you <coughs> so uh yeah and then i realized um uh, why would something want to destroy the earth in the earth and i realized that the earth is alive okay this is me thinking about all of this and i realized that the earth is alive and to end all of this you would have to take a life and that is like their ultimate goal to cause destruction take life hurt others in things and cause destruction but when you're a light worker and when you wake up you realize that the earth is alive like it's a life it creates life it creates abundance it creates the feelings it creates the things that are happening currently that gives us everything and if you take that away, you take away lives and things and it's just, I don't know. I have came to the conclusion, okay, that it's the same scenario as like Adam and Eve when Eve ate the apple and realized that there was much more beyond uh, the garden. But the point is, it doesn't matter what was beyond the garden. They already had paradise where they were, okay? And that's the thing about negativity, the dark work, dark people, dark energy. Uh, they want you to be discontent in where you are because that's how they are. That's how they get to that. I said they had no hope. You feel me? They're in despair. And that no hope, that despair energy allows them to feel okay with hurting other people. Um, when you're in that energy, when you're in that energy, it is very easy to be swayed, okay? It's very easy for the devil to start telling you half-truths or negative energies to start telling you half-truths or your mind to go towards a darker reality. Um, because the thing about light working is it's it takes time, okay? 
we are living in a world that is running off the speed of the lessons that we need to learn. It is not going on any other pattern, any other time. It is not going on any other time frame, any other event, except the lessons that we need to learn and how long it takes us to learn these lessons. So when you are living, when you're going through life and God tells you like, if you continue to do uh, light work, I will bless you. You'll see the abundance, you'll see this. But while you're doing it, it's very hard to stay positive because of the other people around you who is creating conflict. Okay, and it is very easy while you're waiting for your blessing, while you're waiting to see the good in the world, it's really easy for the bad to come in. Okay, it's really easy for the bad to come in and start telling you the truth. Like your God is making you wait. You're also like, it, it's that type of thing. While you're waiting for the, while you're waiting for your blessing, negative energy starts creeping in and telling you that what you're doing is, is clown it's foolish to believe in something it's foolish to have faith that your blessings are coming from the sky it's foolish to sit there and believe that good things are going to happen to good people even though negative things happen to you constantly because of the negative people around you this is how negativity negativity starts to creep in during your wait for your blessing and it's really easy to be swayed towards the other side because once these negative things start happening during your wait, you start getting bogged down energetically. Then you start thinking and thinking negatively. And then it takes even longer for you to learn the lesson in order to get the blessing. And this is how negative energy and dark energy slows down our manifestation, our blessings, and our happiness. It really doesn't do anything else. But slow it down. Because there's always a light side. There's always a light situation here that keeps things in balance. But all this is doing is slowing down your manifestation because they want you to flip flop. And that's also a test from God. You feel me? Um, if you actually believe. And since I'm in a situation, okay, I'll just talk about my situation. Since I'm in a situation uh, where I talk about God, I'm a light worker. <laughs> I praise God every day. Okay. Blessed be the Lord. Um, since I'm somebody like that, I get a lot of negativity. People who want me to shut up, people who want to contradict the things that I say, people who want to tell me that I'm whatever they believe that I am because I do tarot. All right. Um, they want to come against me, but if I didn't believe in the Lord, they wouldn't come against me at all. If I didn't talk about God, they wouldn't care about me. If I didn't praise the Lord and tell them about my faith and give God the glory. Nobody would give a fuck about the shit that I say. So then I realized that it's really not me that they're mad at. You feel me? It's really not me that they're mad at. They're mad at my hope and my faith and my, my connection to the light because they're miserable. So then I realized that they're trying to tell me the truth about a situation in a way that is trying to sway my, sway me from my beliefs. They're trying to sway me into doing things that go against my belief, like being angry, okay, like holding grudges, like hurting other people, because that's all that that dark energy is, okay, just bullshit, okay, bullshit, okay, and then I realize that I'm the one sitting here shoveling bullshit, okay, while I'm waiting on God, I'm sitting here shoveling bullshit, and then it brought me, of course, to the story of King David, you feel me? Somebody who had a long wait of shoveling bullshit. And during that wait, it's really easy to lose faith. Okay. But it's very easy to gain strength as well. Because yes, he was shoveling shit, but in his head, in his mind, he was still strong. He was, it didn't break his spirit. He wasn't a shit shoveler, even though he had to shovel shit. And this is the energy. Negativity, negativity wanted me to believe that I was nothing. Because I may not have everything that I want. And I'm still waiting on God to bless me with everything that I want. And it wanted me to believe that I am given, I'm, a, I'm just a clown for waiting. I'm a clown for doing good. It, it really wanted me to see negativity, see it in a negative light. And it, it became funny. It became funny to shovel this shit. Knowing that as much shit as they put on me to shovel through, Knowing that when I'm done shoveling shit, I'm going to be the one, I'm going to be in the position that they were laughing at me for waiting for. And it just makes me stronger. You know what I mean? It just made me shovel shit harder. 
it just made me <laughs> it just made me want to smile more it just made shit even funnier because that's what that's the real goal of those dark workers you feel me that's the real goal of the negative energy it's just to scare you put you in despair and nobody wants to be in that motherfucking energy and i feel like it's very funny that you want to put me in despair just because i believe weird because if you didn't if, if what I believed in ain't shit, why do you care that I believe in that one thing? That's the only reason you're attacking me. So once I started gaining this knowledge and the full truth of things and not just the half truth, it was really easy to laugh. Really easy to laugh at negativity, negative people. It was really easy to laugh at people who don't understand me, who want to make me shut up. It was really easy to keep going because I have the whole truth. Okay? And sometimes... God makes us wait to learn our lessons, to keep shoveling shit until we see something from a different perspective. And then boom, we learned our lesson. We don't have to shovel shit anymore. It's that easy. And that's why negativity creeps up on you when you're on the wait for your blessing, when you're manifesting to slow down your shit, to, to take your focus off of it. Okay. To make you smell it. Yeah. And... This is the energy. Once something overindulge, you got to also look because often it's um, your situation that you're in. That's how you know, like, this is a trick. That's how you know it's manipulation because it's surrounding a situation that you're in. Like, for instance, how I said I do light working. I speak about God. I love God. Praise his name. It's all over my house. <laughs> it's all over my be My being gets all over me. Every single time I, I introduce myself, people know. You feel me? They know they know. And <clears throat> because I'm like that, I get put in situations where people want to tell me that I'm not what I am and that I'm going against what I'm talking about and that I don't know what I'm talking about and that I shouldn't believe because they don't believe. And I'm like, that's crazy. If you were to believe that the sky is purple and we both see that it's not purple, I would not care what you believe. I would let you go on living your life, not giving a fuck about you believing the sky is purple and you would too. It's the fact that I believe in God that's really bugging me. It's the fact that I have faith that's really bugging me. That's what scares me. Because it mirrors back to you your shame, your humiliation your despair that's the only reason you don't want to learn lessons and progress and do right so this is the energy that i was challenged with over the week okay um yeah that's the energy so when i was going back and forth in my mind and being presented with information all i could do was think that this was very funny lee i find it very funny that information is being shown to me about dark magic and dark energy i find it really funny that you want to show me this like why and then i realized you only want to show me this because of my situation because i'm a light worker and what are you trying to show me that y'all just create negativity and it's like like how is that appealing <laughs> how is that appealing uh so yeah i really had to laugh at it it was really funny because you'll notice like they have the same things but like with a negative point like you know how god can give you abundance and riches negativity could also give you abundance and riches and it comes with all the bullshit you see celebrities going through and i don't want to be a celebrity i don't want to be I, if I was to be famous, it would be under a pseudo name and I'd have a mask on so nobody knew what my real face looks like because like that's not the energy. More, more attention comes with more problems. Like That lifestyle just comes with problems, but doing it right, doing it correctly, uh, gaining things off of your own lessons, your knowledge, and going to the level that you're meant to go in this lifetime because that's the lesson you were supposed to learn, that way is way better for me. And... Um, I was really wrestling with this energy here because of course I'm not in the place where I want to be, but I have faith that God will take me wherever he wants me to take, wherever he wants to take me. And I know for a fact, wherever he takes me is going to be better than where I was. So that's good enough for me. Okay. And I feel like once you're that strong mentally, it's like, 
nothing really can fuck with you. This is all really a mental mind game. And if you notice on Magenta Tarot messages, I talk about a lot about the crown chakra, the mental, the downloads, the intuition. Okay, to say uh, your crown chakra because <laughs> because that's where my lessons come from. That's where my teachings come from. That's where my situation happens to be. So yeah, look out for the signs. Okay. This is a sign that you're being manipulated by the truth because it, it fits your situation. Um, it's You get the same thing either side, but one side comes with something negative and they're only doing it because you chose something. They only, you're only, it's only happening because you chose a side. Okay. Look out for the manipulation around you. Just stay mentally strong um, out here in these streets. All right, this is the energy that I got for you for the word of the week. If you resonated with anything here, please hit me up down in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. Let's start a conversation. I'm thankful and grateful for everybody who hit me up in the emails and show me love in any type of way. I may not answer to every single email, but I definitely read them and I love you back. Uh, yeah, so if you want to talk about anything, start it down in the comments below. Uh, I appreciate everybody who clicked on this video. And yeah, I'm grateful and thankful. Peace.